Hello, today we have a Roland R8 drum computer here and the problem with that unit is that it don't fire up. I tested it already but it don't show a reaction so let's measure if we have the voltages on the check. Here we have our multimeter and I'm going to measure here the voltages inside the check. Now we have a voltage and we have another voltage too. Yes, that's right seems to be that the power adapter is correctly working so we have to crack open the unit and have a look inside so the unit is open now and we can see different things inside here we have the main board with all the ICs and processors backup battery you have to change the, this battery all 10 years or so. And there is the part we are interested in. That's the power supply part. There we have a voltage regulator, some transistors, some diodes, one IC and a few caps. And now we have to measure if there are all voltages are available or if something is missing. Let's have a look. I want to show you the best angle. So let's put in the power check again. And we put on the power switch. We measure DC voltage here with this little multimeter. Let me see. So, so you should see. I'm gonna start at the volt voltage regulator here and have a look if we have our voltages there or if there's something missing in the middle there's ground we have 12 volt at the input and only 1.4 volts at the output and there seems to be something wrong the question is, is a voltage regulator faulty or is it something a short behind that voltage regulator that pulls the voltage down? Uh, I try to test that without removing the whole board and uh, I think I take my tool and uh, cut off the output pin and measure then again to see if our 5 volts are there. If they are there the, the voltage regulator is fine and we have a short behind that voltage regulator and if not the voltage regulator seems to be faulty. So let's try that. So, connect the unit again and let's have a look and there we have our 4, four volt 
seems to be we have a shot at the end of this uh, power regulator. This regulator is working. Okay, we have to look a little bit further. So, uh, I measured the voltage regulator and we have an input of 12 volts and an output of 1.4 volts and um, to test it in circuit and I don't want to remove the whole power board here, I cut the last, the last output pin and measure it again and uh, it seems so that the voltage regulator is okay because with a cut uh, trace I have around 4.8 volts what should be fine. So we seem to have a short after this voltage regulator and we have to look a little bit further. So I resoldered the connection here on the power regulator and remove the board from from the chassis and now we can try without the the cables from the main board if there are our five volts on the power regulator if we know we have a short on the on the main board and not here on this power board so let's have a look Turn it on. Hope you can see. Hope you can see it, and uh, let's check. So we have our 12 volt input, and now we have our 4.8 volts output. So that's the problem. We know we have a short on the big board and not on this little board. We have to try and to search for the short. So I tried to locate the short and therefore I, I connected uh, these connectors back again and uh, when I connected one, I measured the voltage on the regulator and I wanted to see um, which uh, line has to have the short. But uh, now I connected all the three lines and we have our 5 volt back and the unit is powered on. So let's have a look if there is maybe a um, cold solder joint or something like that because it's I don't know what it could be it's, it seems to be fine now and uh, that's the only thing I can imagine at the moment maybe the connectors you had a little bit uh, problems with the with the connection and uh, I removed them and put it back and maybe that was the problem and now we have uh, the voltages back, but I'm a little bit curious because uh, we had the short and now it's gone and uh, the connection problem wouldn't explain that. So I will have a look and tell you when I found something. So I removed the board completely and it seems to be fine, the condensators looks fine, the caps here on the board and uh, nothing really gets very warm when it's connected. Expect the power regulator but that seems to be normal, I, I run it for 5-6 minutes and it it's okay. It's around 60 degrees Celsius. So, but when I have opened the unit now I will uh, give a little bit deoxidation here to the faders because they usually are cracking and make funny noises and we don't want that so I use a contact cleaner here 
and give in a little lubricant and make them work fine again. And that should be enough. And we wiggle them around a little bit to clean the contact contacts in it. And I think um, I will reassemble the unit and try it later and have a look if it's working fine or not and then we can decide if it's okay or not. So I am back when I reassemble the unit because there's a lot of screws and it's not very interesting this whole assembling part but uh, as I mentioned this is the backup battery and often these devices show a change backup battery and um, that's something you can do on your own it's not uh, very complicated you have to remove a few few screws on the on the cover and you can take out the whole unit and replace the battery it's a normal CR2032 you can get them almost everywhere and that's a thing it's, time consuming for maybe 10 minutes or something like that. So I'm back and we have a look if it's working then. Okay. So I reassembled the unit, at least the half of it, and now I tried to start it again and it seems to be... Oh no, it's working was the contrast I I trimmed the pot here and it's for the contrast but it looks fine okay so I um, keep on going and uh, reassemble the rest of it and hopefully it will still work there's something I found inside the cabinet these little washers was inside there and they are made from metal, I could imagine that these little washers was inside there and make a shortcut on the on the board and maybe that's why we hadn't uh, our 5 volts at the regulator. At least it's a possibility and I hope it, it that was a fault but I don't know they get in there uh, or who who put them in there but okay so unit is back together and let's try looks good looks very good I think we can call that a uh, could repair but it wasn't a really a fault but it's working now and that's the main thing I think and hopefully it will work for the next years. <laughs> 